This is my Atari 1040 ST with 72 meg of fast RAM, 4 meg of base RAM, uh, a 68030 at 50 megahertz with 64 meg of RAM on it. Uh, that goes into the 72 meg of fast RAM. So that's a TF536. The, uh, the machine runs well. It's running Mint uh, 1.19 right now. We can see right here. There are some things I well, I mean, I really like it. For example, check it out, multitasking. I mean, I just I just launched uh, works. I'm gonna open one of my and we'll go to open another one. So we can go uh, uh, open, and we'll open another ST Spiel. To give you an idea of its speed, obviously the uh, the video hardware is not ideal, being native to the Atari ST uh, 1040 ST FM. So it's it's the video is running at eight megahertz, has 32k of memory to you know to for itself and so forth. Same limitations as a stock ST. Uh, and the processor is a heck of a lot faster, but when the processor ha talks to the bus, it has to do it uh, 16 bits at a time uh, in 16 bit subwords. It has to thunk down and it has to um, run at eight megahertz. There are some things I don't, oh, here, let me go ahead and resize some stuff here for you just to give an idea. I'll change the font. Uh, fonts. Let's go ahead and go with, I don't know, American Garamond Bold? Yeah, sure. No, that, okay, no, that was what we were. So let's use Allegro. There we go. Okay. I can really see, this is my first, no, well, this is my second ST, but this is the first one I've really tricked out like this, and, and I can really see why desktop publishing was such a phenomenon for it. Uh, this is really impressive. This is Atari Works. Nothing uh, super special. Um, I haven't installed uh, Papyrus or any of the others. Here's a virtual desktop toy, which is really cool. It's not 100% perfect, uh, but I don't expect anything to be. It's a beta. It's a beta piece of gear, you know. So, but it doesn't quite seem to always, you know, get it. So I, I can't uh, bring a window up using the slider. I have to touch within the window itself. So I'll resize it. Now, there you go. So it has some warts, but it's pretty freaking impressive. And uh, let's take a look here at, um, let's go to Terra Desktop, and then let's go to run uh, Sysinfo. There we go. This is erroneous. Uh, Gembench shows the, uh, the 68030 at 49 and change megahertz. So here's some details on the machine, basically stock as far as the, uh, you know, the I.O. is concerned. Uh, but I have a lot of, uh, I have four megs of ST memory in the form of an Exos uh, board that is just really, really cool. Another eight meg of fast RAM in the form of a Storm ST, which also has a TOS decoder on it. So I went ahead and bought the same fellas, uh, Cloudy. Which also which plugs into the, you know the, the CPU stack and uh, and gives you two versions of TOS flashable, which is really cool. I had him pre-flash it with uh, Unity TOS 1.0.1 and uh, TOS 2.06. Right now I'm using TOS 2.06. Here's some more information for you. Keyboard and disk. Okay, blah blah blah. Now this is an error that I get uh, because. Um, e colon is an ext2 partition. Oh, I need to dog on clients. Atari works. Let's quit. E is uh, is an ext2 partition, and uh, the system complains when you first touch it 
uh, that uh, that it see another little video glitch there. Not quite perfect, as I said, but definitely on its way. So I don't have an, I don't have a, uh, an FSCK for uh, for EXT2. I have for FAT and Minix, and that's it. That gives me uh, no no ability to natively run FSCK on this system and give a clean file system. So if I ever crash, which it does, I will uh, get this annoying error. Uh, another interesting glitch is this one here. See, I don't know if you see down here at the bottom, but text is appearing on the screen. This is Speedo GDOS, and I don't know why. Now I can enter data and then enter, hit enter and enter more data and hit enter. But if I hit enter clean on an, on the desktop or anywhere without having entered any text at all, the problem won't recur. So that's very, you know, I, I suspect it's deal withable if you look at my system. Here's auto here's my auto folder right now i'm running mint da uh, mint-of3.prg with somehow i don't know how there's i have not found a configuration file that does uh, that does that but it points to c colon backslant mint 1-19-of3 and then points to mint 000 now i if i just go ahead and take this out and i put uh, mint 030 in it's not going to point to the correct folder. I don't know by what magic that's done, but it's not going to point to the correct to the correct uh, uh, locations on the boot drive. It's going to point uh, by default. It's going to point to SQL and backslant mint, which is missing all the files. So if I move uh, this directory 1.1 1-19, if I move the whole contents of that over to the mint directory. That works, but then the mint and e and I mean then the, the mint CNF and the XAES, uh, you know, it just it doesn't work properly. So I would really like to ideally my my wish list is a 68030 version of mint, uh, you know, compiled for 68030, installable with all the uh, the standard uh, Unix uh, command prompts. I mean command utilities. I don't see. I don't know why, but like. You know, there's a lot missing. I mean, how can clear not be there? You know, LS is there, of course. But clear is not there. And neither neither are like eight-tenths of the rest of it. I mean, no no VI, no Vim, uh, no no command, no editor. Uh, uh, does Chown, is Chown here? Chown's not found. It's just, you know, who am I? Uh, host name. It's just there's 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 no command there's no command line utilities and sometimes those are you know really really into DD for example is a really handy utility uh, so I I know that those utilities exist but I don't know where to get them and uh, there's so I I know that you guys are hobbyists and you guys are writing this and I'm just using it and I'm using it on stuff you're not generally running it on which is genuine Atari hardware but if there if my wish list would be a 68030 compiled version with all the toys, compiler, the whole nine yards, don't care how big it is. Uh, I got the space, I got the processor for it. Uh, thanks for all your work. I really appreciate it and I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video. I'm going to go ahead and shut down now. Let me go in here, quit with clients, tear a desktop, kill everything because I don't want it to come back. And shut down. That's all she wrote. Have a nice day.